the uh, 14th. I'm up here sort of in the vicinity. I've, I've now passed uh, 623, but the trail here uh, for a few miles is just uh, uh, a mess of blowdowns from, from an ice storm. Um, so slow going, slow going. Um, get under this, under and around this tree here, um, and then step over this one. <laughs> uh, stayed at uh, the shelter, tented out last night. Uh, father and son from grown son who's an army pilot and uh, they're from Raleigh. Had good conversations this morning, but it met for a little later start. Um, also met a uh, section hiker, Restless, and uh, a through hiker who was slack packing today, uh, 26 miles. His name was Turtle Hawk. Turtle Hawk. I mean, just more and more, more and more trees here. He had to move along. Uh, I have to move along. This is slowing me down. I don't know if I'm going to get my 20 miles in today or not. Uh, if I don't make 20 miles over the next. Uh, Day, tomorrow and the next day average 20 miles a day uh, I don't get to my car well I, I'll get to my car eventually but not before I run out of food living on the edge let's see how this works out uh, no rain today and I'm gonna be up on uh, uh, can't remember the name of the shelter it's like an enclosed cabin here. I'll, I'll show it to you. But I remember it from two years ago. Fabulous view. Uh, and I think I will be able to see well. I mean, it's overcast, but it's not uh, not raining and not foggy. So, okay. I'm going to have to put the phone away. I got another tree here that I can't negotiate holding a camera. Slow going. Slow going. Ugh. And I'm at Chestnut Knob Shelter. Really nice stone shelter. I mean, if it was later, I'd be tempted to stay here, but I kind of can't. I'm going to run out of food. <laughs> Probably going to run out of food anyway. Uh, and it's kind of cold and overcast. What I wanted to show you here was Burke's Garden. I'll kind of zoom in a little bit and uh, show it with my other uh, straight on camera. Yeah, this is Burke's garden. I want to say this is like the floor of an old collapsed caldera. Maybe I'm completely out of out of whack on this. Only has one outlet for the water that falls in, and I think it's right over there in that little notch. And I think there are only two roads that come in here. But you can see it's full of farms. It's probably pretty rich land. Okay, I'm going to have to have my snack and move on. 3.30 in the afternoon. Weather's starting to close in. Weather's not going to be so nice tomorrow. I'm going to pan down the valley here that's uh, just to the uh, south of how the AT goes. And you see all these pasture lands and farms dotted in there. Uh, not down at the bottom of the valley there, but kind of up a little bit. And it makes it very beautiful, of course, uh, but it's also sort of a perfect blend of rural landscape of uh, agriculture and, and uh, wild forest. Isn't that beautiful? Wow.
This is like karmic. I'm just trying to find the spot for my tent. And, and guess who shouts to me? Yeah, I know. I haven't seen anyone all day either. Well, guess who's here? <laughs> yeah, crazy. Okay, anyway.